Hello and welcome to today's video. I'm here with a Geek Tools tutorial showing you how to create the Sands of Time desktop in featured in the App Store. Now, as you can see when you go to the App Store under the picture description you have this pretty cool looking Sands of Time background. Well I'm going to be showing you exactly how to make this. It's going to be in three different parts. The first part is going to be getting the desktop and the time and the black menu bar. Uh, next is going to be the cloudy um, or the weather and that then the bottom is going to be the iTunes playlist um, so let's go ahead and get started first thing you're going to want to do is obviously you're going to want to download Geek Tool. it's free from the Mac App Store it's only a one megabyte file when you open it up let's go ahead and start right here you'll have a properties box that'll pop up what you want to do you're going to want to make sure enable is checked by default, it's not going to be checked, but you want it to. First, what you're going to do, you're obviously going to, once you have this, you're going to minimize that, and you're going to want to set this picture as your desktop. Now, we'll have this, I'll just mention I'll have all files uh, in the video description. You can either do fit to screen, fill screen, stretch to fill screen. I'm just going to do fill screen, it looks a little bit better. Now, once we have that set as our desktop background, what we're going to do, we're going to want to go back into Geek Tool, and we're going to want to create a new shell. So, drag the shell script onto our desktop. Now, I've provided this command, um, uh, what's it called? The command, the c command, actually, um, in the description. So what you're going to do, you're going to copy the time file right here, it's highlighted in light blue. You go back to Geek Tool, in the properties box you're going to see this little option right here, the little dot dot dot. You're going to click that, this will pop up the script. Now you're going to hit Command V, and you're going to hit the save button and click yes. As you can see on the desktop it came up as 1027. That's exactly uh, 1027 up here too. We're going to want to go to change, set, font, and color, and then the font we're going to use to get uh, this, let me go back to Geek Tool, the font we're going to use to get the Sands of Time desktop is going to be Helvetica NUE, I think, pretty sure. So go ahead and go back to the script, go back in here, set font and color, and then search Helvetica, and then it's Helvetica new right here. The style is ultra light and the size is 300. Now what you're going to want to do, want to open that up like that. Another thing you're going to want to do, you want to go back into the fonts, you're going to want to change the color and then change it to about 75% opacity. All right, now that we have the time down, we're just going to align it just on the sand right here. So it's, I would have mine about right here, about the width of the dock. Next, what we're going to want to do, we're going to want to create the day of the week right here, covered by the bigger dune of sand. So what we're going to do, we're going to create a new shell script, drag it somewhere over here, going to go to the text edit, and then we're going to copy the full date. Make sure it didn't copy the highlight, minimize the text edit, go back into Geek Tool, make sure you have this shell script selected, go to the command, and then paste that. Now we're just going to click the save button and hit yes. Then the text and font's going to be Helvetica New, Ultra light and the size is actually going to be 65. But it really depends on what monitor you have. I would definitely suggest leaving a little bit of extra room in the shell for the bigger days. So as you can see, we're just going to cover it a little bit so you can still tell what it is. That that looks about good. Now the easy, now what we're going to do. Obviously, we're going to want to go back into Geek Tool and change this to 75% opacity. Now, obviously, this, the full date is optional because it's kind of small and you're not seeing as much of it. So, I still think it looks better on 75% opacity. 
when we're, have, when we're done all that, now it's time to get the sand. So what we're going to do, I provided a graphic that I'm going to be putting in the video description. Um, make sure you have it somewhere. Make sure you have a set path. Um, for example, I have the graphic in my pictures folder under pics. It's sand copy right here. Um, also, make sure you have that. So what we're going to want to do, we want to drag in a new image script to your desktop. Set local path, and we're going to open that pick. Now what we're going to do, we're going to line it up, and then we're just going to make it big until it fits perfectly. Now as you can see, there's little tiny, there's a little bit of letters at the bottom. If you do it right, those can be covered up. You won't have to use any Photoshop to get it so it's not there. So let's go ahead and line it up perfectly. You have any sort of external display, you might want to watch out for that so that the um, so it does not go into your other desktop. You can see that looks about good, but it's still we have the little line here, so we want to make it a little bit bigger. Alright, that looks about good. As you can see in the bottom right hand corner, the text has been covered up. That's pretty much how you get all of the text. Now as you can see, the time isn't changing. What we're going to want to do, we're going to want to click this graphic right here. Go to Geek Tool. We're going to click the big graphic, send to back. As you can see, that will completely defeat the purpose. Then what we're going to want to do, we're going to want to select the time. We're going to want to select the time. And when I click refresh, I would put every 10 seconds. And then for the day, also ref refresh, refresh every 10 seconds. I would suggest having them both at the exact same time so it creates minimal lag between the two dates if you are in fact seeing the day and the time change. So then here we go. Next, what we're going to want to do, we're going to want to take Good Geek Tool. Send both of those to back, and then there we go. That looks pretty good. Now for the actual black menu bar. What we're going to want to do, we're going to want to click Geek Tool. Then you're going to want to go to Safari, and then type in, this link will be in the video description. It's an app called Nocturne. And then just type App Mac. And go to the Mac update one because it's updated. This link will be in the description. Next, you're going to download it now. And then you're going to move it to your applications folder. Make sure you don't forget to do that or else it won't work. And you're going to Finder, Applications, Nocturne. Then we're going to go to Preferences. And then by default, it's mostly on Invert Screen, Hide Desktop. Disable shadows, monochrome, and then dim when inactive. So this is probably the default nocturne, but what we're going to want to do, we want to uncheck invert screen, uncheck hide desktop, uncheck disable shadows, uncheck disable screen brightness, and uncheck monochrome. Next we're going to do, we're going to switch it to day, and then make sure you have invert menu bar selected. Then nothing else selected. That's how you get the black menu bar. So as you can see, this looks pretty good right now. Um, the time will refresh. What you can do is you can drag out the drag the time out of your menu bar by holding Command and just dragging out. And this is part one of my Geek Tool tutorial on how to make the Sands of Time desktop. I will have all the files in the video description. So uh, it's a media file link. So hopefully you won't have any problems. Again, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.